Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. Terra Classic. So Terra Classic has fallen about 12% and it does underperform the crypto market today being July 12, 2022. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Bitcoin is down a bit. So is Ethereum and other things too. So we'll get out of this. But there's something that I noticed on Terra Classic, Terra Classic's chart. I don't know if you guys go on coin market cap much, but normally I see whatever crypto, almost everything that I type in here, I will see on this side, like angry comments, like bearish, bearish. And, and I'm not talking about Luna Classic, just sometimes, just in general. But I've noticed this out of the corner of my eye that people are more bullish across the board. Like almost, you know, I put in whatever I put in and I'm seeing more green here just in the comments versus their bearish comments. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. Does it make a difference? I think it does. Sentiment makes a difference. How people feel makes a difference. Like I, I have a sneaky feeling we are getting closer to the famous crypto market bottom, which means we'll have some pretty good buy-in opportunities to buy the bottom and like I said, if people are feeling bullish, that means they're probably going to open their wallet and buy crypto relatively soon. So not financial advice. Okay. Sometimes I just put in, you know, how much do you, how much crypto can you buy for $100? So with Terra Classic, if you put in $100, you would get just over a million Terra, Terra Classic tokens. And so let's eyeball the day chart here. So yeah, we, we are down, we were down a little lower. So this must've been when we're at 12%, because right now we're down at about 9% on the day. And I think, I don't know, I think in Bitcoin, well, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they could turn, they could turn and go back up. And this would probably follow too. So not a big deal. And what I like to see is the sentiment. People are pretty, you know, nobody's feeling like this is the end of the world or anything because of the big pullback today. 12% is not that huge, but still. I was just eyeballing sentiment and people are still really positive positive about Terra Luna Classic and so am I long term. It is volatile, we know that, but that's why it could possibly make someone a lot of money because it's, it's volatile. It can spike down, but that means also it can spike up under the right circumstances. So that's why I'm holding on to this thing. Now I just eyeball Doquan's Twitter looking to see if I don't know anything negative coming out because I notice a trend that people kind of want justice and the more uh, we hear like you know Korean police or Korean authorities are after him and digging into oh you know what went down with Terraform Labs it actually pumps the token so <laughs> but there's nothing there's it just seems like there's just not a whole lot going on and i don't really want to talk about the burn other people do it better than me so just let that go there so that's it things you know good sentiment towards the token the price is a little down but buying opportunities i think are just around the corner in general in crypto and we will just have to hold tight tomorrow is a new day and we will see what happens so hit that like subscribe to my channel none of this is financial advice and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye